We thought long and hard about what kind of exercise would go along with our Cuban theme. Then it hit us, no pun intended, how about a lesson in the fastest ball sport in the world? Welcome to North Miami Amateur High Life. Keeping it open has become a labor of love for owner Louis Batista. But for the people who play here all week, it's the only place they can go to immerse themselves in the game they absolutely love. For a group of men in their 50s and 60s, playing high lie has been like dipping into the fountain of youth. Steve Estale is a 56-year-old, originally from New Jersey, who has been playing here since 1982. Oh, Coming down to Florida in 82, uh, I saw a sign on the side of the road, and I said, what's Jolly Alley? I didn't even know how to pronounce it. <laughs> and my uncle brought me to the Frontong at Dania Highlight, and right. when I walked in and saw the game, I fell in love with it instantly. Hugo Lorenzo is another man who has Highlight in his blood. At 61, he's been playing for over 40 years. So why do they call this the fastest sport on earth? Because the professionals can throw the ball 180 miles an hour. It's like exactly like handball or racquetball with a, with a basket on your hand. Uh, you have to serve inside the box and then the return serve. And as long as the ball bounces one time on the floor, you can play it. You can play it off the back wall, you can play it off the front wall. A couple of weeks you'll be, you'll be playing with us. Remember, like, almost like you're trying to hit the roof. Good. <laughs> Look how he does it like so quick. Just snatches it up. I'm gonna learn that. <laughs> okay. Don't bend the elbow. Don't bend. Stay still. Good. I thought it would be kind of easy. I looked it. You know, had this little basket, and you're flipping the ball. But it was really hard, and I couldn't do it. I was like really frustrated with myself that, hey, I don't know how to play this game. But they said, you know, it takes months to learn this game and years to be even good at it. So then I didn't feel so bad. The good players catch the ball here, and it rolls to the back where it stops it. And then when you do your wrist, you're trying to get the ball back in here because you're throwing the ball from the tip of the basket. If you throw from back here, it's not going to go anywhere. While Highlight isn't Cuban per se, its roots go back to the Basque region in Spain and France. It was very popular in Cuba back in the day. The, the world's largest fronton was in Cuba. And in the, in the 50s, when all the tourists would go from Florida down to, to uh, Cuba, to Havana, it was like the biggest sport. So when did it start to get big in Miami? The 60s, the 70s, and the 80s was huge. Fridays and Saturday nights in Miami Highlight, there would be 10,000 people there. You couldn't, you couldn't get a seat. So in Miami now, how many people do you feel attend? Maybe 50. Per really? performance, yeah, it's, it's really, really bad. Yet even as the professional game diminishes in popularity, playing here for the love of it will never get old for Steve and Hugo. Rather, it seems to keep them and their fellow players young. It looks like really good exercise. You do, you do a lot of running. Uh, your, your heart gets really racing. Uh, after a while, you kind of get it going really good and, and it, you build up a good sweat. It's a lot harder than it looks. Steve and Hugo said it could take months, even years of playing every day before being good enough to compete. Well, I could tell you it definitely gets your heart going mm -hmm. and every muscle in your body is moving. So I mean if you want to stay in shape it's definitely a sport to stay in shape. In addition to it being a lot of fun and an amazing workout, there's also a great deal of camaraderie amongst the men who have been playing together for decades. I came by myself and then met all the people and then we're all friends for years. Uh -huh. you know, people pop in and out, you don't see them for five years and you know when they show up, but uh, you don't even have to speak the language. Everybody speaks the language with the basket. That was a blast, a lot harder than I thought. But if you want to try this, come to North Miami Amateur Highlight. Sweet Plantain.